Hey folks, uh, we had a little problem in uh, post-production. I don't know if I deleted it. I've never seen it happen before with this recorder, but oh, we don't have a soundtrack, commentary track for this video, so Bobo the, the Vulture. Hey there, uh, yes, uh, by we, he does mean uh, Bobo the Vulture. At the, yeah, sorry. And I are going to do post-commentary, and I guess I will hit play at the 25-second mark. Okay. Yeah, and that way I can hopefully remember that when I'm trying to put this thing together later. Do you have uh, sound coming from anywhere? The sound will be coming as soon as there's sound from the game, which is ah. now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, um, we are fighting the Fury. Looks like it, yeah. It's going to be tempting to just chill out and enjoy the music. I know, it is. And look at, you know, uh, Snake's uh, semi racist uh, camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know. I think we make a joke about it before or after this point, uh, where you know, we had the black face camel on while calling Sigan at one point. <laughs> You're like, hey Sigan, I'm in black face, uh, you cool with that? Or... <laughs> oh, alright, so... Now the tension... Uh, right it's, up. it's a shame we lost these videos, because the, the tension in this fight with the Fury was like yeah. insane. <laughs> when I remember, I, I'm, if I'm remembering right, this video was when we started after... I think we stopped and went online and looked up a little bit about CQC, CQC because yeah. we it's, were trying to figure out there's a way that, because there's, I guess, what, multiple different ways that you can use CQC against it may not the be Fury, and may one of them involves using a knife and cutting a suit, Yeah, Which and you don't another need might involve just knocking them out. I mean, I, honestly, I thinking back on it now, uh, I oh, don't... Oh, by the way, we're, we're burned. What's it feel like to burn, brother? It burns, brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think he said, what's it feel like to burn, brother? I think it was just... No, it he doesn't, like but you're... Yeah. You know. Got you, got you. But at any rate, um, I'm pretty sure... Why are we wearing a splitter camo? That's a mistake. Is somebody going to fix that? Wait, that's not the splitter camo. That's the... Uh... It is. It's splitter. Blackface oh, and splitter. Oh, splitter armor. What? I don't splitter know. Splitter armor. I mean, splitter camo. I'm assuming Bobo's <laughs> playing now, because that's a huge error. Yeah, it, we didn't go back and watch the video before this to see whose turn it was when they failed, so we actually don't yeah. know who's playing at any given so time. So at some point in time... Although I just spoiled the fact that this run probably won't succeed because we switch back and forth, and I don't know who's... Well, I suppose that's true. If you truly hate post-commentary, uh, you, you might just advance uh, past this one. Because there's you're not going to miss any plot, but... Oh, yeah. It's the... Uh, I'm thinking this is me, but I don't know. Shot him right in the Because I failed at the, uh... But anyway, the CQC thing was, uh, there's a boss coming up against whom CQC is really effective. And I was sure CQC works really well against the Fury. Now I'm not so sure. But there's definitely, uh, a, another boss fight coming up where CQC really makes a huge difference. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a boss fight coming up where... If you're good at CQC, it's actually easier to win non-fatal than it is to win fatal with well, fatal force. And there's you were another boss fight. Same thing about uh, about the fear. Yeah, I think uh, well that one it may or may not have been accurate in the retrospect. There's definitely one coming up where it's much easier non-fatal than fatal. Uh, and there's another one coming up shortly after that where uh, fatal is much much easier than the the non-fatal one. So. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I think it's gonna hide all day, buddy. Oh, I see the burning guy. Yeah, that's probably you. <laughs> yeah, the he's on fire. So, uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, sorry, folks. I was just looking up something here real quick because um, before I found out, we were actually going to have to. Uh, uh, look up the, the um, or, or do this uh, post commentary on this battle. This yep. past week, I happened to have been looking up um, <gasps> one of the more, you know, uh, sad chapters in the history of the U.S. Soviet space race, um, which was the flight of Soyuz One um, and the death of Vladimir Komolov. Komol Komorov. Okay. Hey, you can look it up either way. But, um... His death was tragic. That doesn't mean we have to pronounce his name correctly. <laughs> I... 
It's, I don't know. It's difficult. No, but um, basically, uh, it's it's a refrain that you hear repeated sometimes, and you know, like how much weight you put into things is, you know, your own your own your own deals. But I guess basically, it was the anniversary of a like particular big, you know party celebration some day people, some like just a, realize that they should be oh well, black doesn't no. black is better in some areas yeah not others, shadows. I guess. you're not always hard in the shadow so it's a big party there's a big party it's a, party a, a big it was a yeah it was a big party uh, party, you know, party communist celebration yeah soviet you know socialist party uh holiday and um khrushchev wanted the launch that day <laughs> are you just gonna burn all day <laughs> and uh, the original plan had been for uh, the Soyuz 1 spacecraft, which is a pretty sophisticated piece of engineering. I mean, they still use Soyuz modules to this day mm -hmm. um, for uh, homes that people live in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the, but no, I mean, this, I mean, it's you know, it was the sort of the He's back in black, folks. Yeah, okay, so we, we learned that. We got our, we learned our lesson there. But uh, originally it was, they were supposed to fire one and one cosmonaut into space, and then another craft later with two more cosmonauts who were then supposed to dock with it, and then they're all supposed to come back on Soyuz. Um, basically had a, basically most of the scientists working on it thought that there hadn't been enough testing, there were, you know, there were flaws in it that were Shit. going to endanger the safety of anybody who tried to stay on the craft. We and... should have tried to use porn on him. Yeah. Anyway, he okay. would have gone, ooh, <laughs> the way that he sometimes does anyway. You think I would be interested in oh, pictures of objectifying women? That makes me furious. But yeah. Okay. So, science but yeah, it's it's the it's so the, they sent these guys up into space, but they didn't so really they give them the, enough time. So they sent the one guy up into space. Things were not planned out. Um, amazingly, like basically, it's supposed to have like the solar wings that fold out so it can generate power in space. Only one of them opened, so it was running on half power. None of the guidance and apparently any of the rest of that stuff worked. He was actually still because he was apparently just a seriously badass test pilot. Anyways, was right. able to sort of manually reorient the craft and survive re-entry on the dark side, on the night side of the planet, oh, okay. which is even more, I guess, more difficult to do manually because you don't have a visual reference or whatever. And after all of that, then the parachute mechanism failed. So he survived re-entry and ended up hitting the ground at unabated speed. So he died. Well, yes. How did they know he and survived re-entry? Because there are radio broadcasts of him oh, cursing okay. the engineers. <laughs> well, yeah. You know... And speaking well, briefly to his wife. Normally that kind of attitude doesn't help anything, but I guess the guy had a right to be kind of mad. You know, he was probably furious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and of course, the other thing about that is that um, the backup for that particular mission was Yuri Gagarin. And after that mission, they pulled him permanently from the Soviet space flight program because they're like, no. And I think Komolov actually knew that Kolov? it was or Komarov. The uh... <laughs> say like Nikita Kolov? What? No, it's, it's, it's uh, Hiroshi Matsuda. <laughs> now Ivan Kolov knew that if you converted well, he converted Christianity, he knew, he knew about the problem right. with the flight going up, and he's like, well, I have to like. I don't think I'm going to survive this, but I have to go because Yuri is my friend. We've gone through the space program together, and he's a national hero. Uh, uh, you know. But either way, that's that's how that's how Gig Aaron got crowned from spaceflight uh, after being the first human being in space. And the Fury may or may not be him. <laughs> Fury's not supposed to be him. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. There are plenty of other um, Soviets who went into space. Hey, there's one right there. Oh, it's because you, you think he heard you? Yeah. And then, yeah. 
All right. Right in the ass. Yes, in the ass. Feel my anal rage. Whoa. <laughs> It it kind of fit. you know some evenings if I've had a little bit too if I if I had a lot of Taco Bell and I just go and I yeah. sit down on the toilet that that's yeah. what I tell it but uh... Man, Fury could <laughs> Fury could definitely wreck a toilet I mean he seems like a pretty big guy I guess it's a spacesuit giving you that impression yeah likes his spicy food go figure see now I don't know which. Um... There's a there's a lot of chit chat that went on uh, during the fighting with the Fury. Uh, I think at some point, possibly in the next video, we'll bring it up as a spontaneous new thing, and I'm spoiling it. But we both ended up really digging on the uh, the music from the Fury. Oh yeah, I I I'm really enjoying it right now. But of course, the thing is, like, I know what happens in in the end at this point. Oh, what happened at the end? I I. Uh, trank them. Yeah. And then his gums flew out. It's not his gums. Well, no, his, his gums were The gums were all that was there. Yeah. No, but I know what happens terminally uh, with this video and yeah. battle and so forth. But yeah, it's this the first is, ever this... Metal Gear game where we just completely give up and like, you know what? We'll never defeat the Fury. <laughs> well, but this any any individual matchup, I know it's probably going to happen now. Um, but they do a really good. This is in terms of a fight scene. <laughs> yeah, like it's a really good job of building up tension here. Well, there's a couple of things. It's this is, I mean, it's the music, it's the dark setting. Well, somebody you've in got the, the comments... stereo footsteps of him walking around in various places. Like, is he yeah. behind me? Is he around? The... Somebody in the comments, and I don't think they've commented again since. So they're they're probably not still watching, but. Somebody early on in the LP said something like, oh, this game, uh, it was something like, constantly eating and my first, or like, you know, 80% cinemas and my first boss fight. It was just sort of a snarky slamming of the game. Yeah. And I really, you know, people entitled their opinion, I really like the game, but like the my first boss fight thing, I found really puzzling, because yeah. one of the reasons I think this boss fight, at least for me, works <laughs> it's like, you know, now it's turned into, like, the director's commentary. <laughs> well, yeah. with the Fury boss fight, we'll go for it. No, but the reason this works so well, it's very, very similar, actually, to the Vulcan Raven boss fight. But the yep. big difference, and something that just, like, really colors this game, makes this game a lot more tense for me than any of the other Metal Gear games I've played. <laughs> Shit, he's behind us. Yeah, he's behind us. He's like, what? He's like, you think, like, does he like, see? Can you get I, off like, a shot? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I think that is the thing I made the mistake of a couple of times. I was really good at being able to get him sort of like down to a certain point, but once he started being more careful and started using his flamethrower more often, I was stuck because we both, I we, kept trying to like I get another shot in on you for sure. Like no, I'm having trouble seeing it. But uh, yeah, we both got to the point where his pattern changes when he's more than halfway defeated. He just starts, he moves around a lot faster. Just oh yeah, I think does a lot I, of damage. I don't remember if this is you or me. I Fire think it's me, time. but yeah. like I'm pulling out the gun, and you're like, no, don't, don't even try. No, He's no. already firing his flamethrower. I'm like, all right. I... Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, I'm, I think at this point I'm screaming at you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the thing that makes this boss fight work and makes this, in, in, I didn't realize just how much this screws up Metal Gear Solid until I played this game. Soliton radar. Yeah, is a means huge you know where he is. Tension reduction. Like yeah. you're so much less nervous and. You know, you pretty much always know when you're, you almost always get the jump on guards, even if you can't find a way to evade their pattern yeah, and not get run seen, behind you'll, them you'll, and you'll know where they're at, what you're trying to do. Like in this game, you get routinely, <laughs> this, well, okay, that's a trick of the camera, so yeah, they but, probably should have seen it there, but, uh, but that's what I was about to say, is this is the first Metal Gear game where... Uh, a matter of routine almost you get attacked by enemies that you haven't right even there. seen yet or you get yes. to, you spotted by an enemy that you didn't even know was there like in the first in the in the games in which you have Soliton radar it's almost always you are getting the jump on enemies right. and the only time that enemies can get a jump on you is in a cinematic right right they actually, and here they actually program in cinematics for 
for that in almost every game because, uh, you know, usually the plot at some point requires Snake to have been found by the bad yeah. guys. and I mean, you know, like... Which always seems silly if you're having a, a not particularly successful run. Man, it's getting good. If you're having yeah. a not particularly successful run... Are you run, sure we don't win this time? I never said that. Well, I did off camera. <laughs> off camera, I told you that we didn't win on this particular... Uh, we are good, though. We're good. No, it's, it's going really well. It seems like it's going well. All right. Tension yeah, no, got another but... got. Yeah. Oh, it's like, shit. No. <laughs> Oh, that! Oh my gosh, I remember this now. I was so pissed. I was like, "No, just go put the damn okay. gun down!" And the fury then goes, "He's ah, 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 ah. like, ah, 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 ah. you didn't realize that once you stopped being burned, you would go back to being like in sniper mode." There was at least, and it, it will know it's me too at one point because I had one, I had one run against the fury that was just like ludicrously short. And I was so pissed. It might be just as well we're post dubbing this, because as I told Bobo again off camera, I don't remember when it was. It might be on one of the videos that preceded this or is coming after this. There was at least one moment where Bobo was like giving me honest advice, like, oh, no, it's okay, shoot now, or oh, no, no, duck, duck off to the side. And I was just like, shut up! <laughs> Stop! I know what I'm trying to do! You I, were It's not that I don't know what to do. You were feeling the fury. Oh, I do. Okay, it's definitely me playing now because I yes. remember trying. I never did try this this strategy of just crawling back to the entry. Spoilers: This doesn't work, but <laughs> it was it was worth a try. Yeah. I read somewhere that there's a way to there's a place you can find to cheese him where he almost never yeah. spots you. Where you're and not it might gonna... have been there and I just got unlucky. Yeah, or it might have been there and if but you're you using be... a different camo, like I don't know if the brick camo would have worked better against the rusty like metal. Well, you or have something. to be real. You have to be really patient too because there's very few he opportunities. Has, to few shoot opportunities him. to shoot him. Yeah. Give in to your anger. <laughs> Let the hate flow. It's like, hmm, I'm seeing some kind of evidence that he was by this way recently. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Ah, damn yep, it, Fury. Yep, I see it. I see and it. I so wanted to get up and move, but I was like, no, yeah. no. No, right in the hip. You're shooting to the hip rather than from the hip. Yes. I kept thinking, would, would this be enough camo that he can't see me? Yeah. And of course, it gets to be less and less effective camo because it keeps shooting the more. Oh, wait, hey, yeah, buddy. I remember. I remember that moment too. And we were like, "Oh shit, he hasn't seen you." Now he probably will. <laughs> ah, now I, I can see the wheels turning. Now you're like, I was trying to get, get up there to spear him. I was trying to get up there to see him. Yeah. Because yeah. I believe there's. I don't know. I don't I remember at what point we give up on CQC. Yeah. There, there comes a point where eventually we just start going for that diving spear. Yeah, and like just the entire battle good, ends up being like... It does good non-lethal damage. Stamina damage. Stamina damage? It does stamina damage. <laughs> what up, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> you see me punching at him. I'm yes. trying to grab him. There you but, go. Yeah. Damn it. I fear the spear. <laughs> He's like, I should use some kind of Bret Hart defense. <laughs> oh, and this is another thing. Uh, I keep applying disinfectant. To right, you keep applying disinfectant to burns, which <laughs> yeah. I imagine it can't really feel hurt. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course, burns don't actually up like. Oh, it's nice that you've treated your burn, although you're actively still on fire. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, that's okay, Snake. Those are just baby flames. They won't really cause any permanent damage to your skin. They'll just kill you. What I um, I wish that we had some of By that raising your internal temperature. <laughs> I wish we had some of that water from the uh, the uh, Hunger Games. That dirty water. Whatever. 
breaking fire, catching fire, catching fire. Right. Because they get because these like they get these fire. hideous, hideous burns, or like the skin is bubbling, and then they just run water over it, and they're okay. <laughs> yeah, they just dip their hands in like a. It's like it's super water. water. I guess I don't know what the hell it is. It's sweet water. I mean, they, stay away. I never got that. I mean, were they supposed? It's it's a book with like I guess it's like a sci-fi future world where they can do all sorts of crazy shit we can't do, but. Were they ho were they hallucinating those burns or I don't know. I've just been a very highly soluble um, uh, chemical that caused burning on skin. I don't know. But anyway, the uh, whatever it is. Uh, no, but that, that that's the thing. It's that not that it's, uh, it's the, the oh there it is. It's fine that they can get burns. What's yeah. not fine is that they're just healed instantly by water. That's why I was wondering. It's like, did they somehow? Oh right, the treatment of burns. Or... Yeah. No, I, I was thinking it was that. Oh, they could like. Yeah. And see, the music the changes burn. when he spots you. Yeah. This is why I should have. You're good. Lying down there. <laughs> the way you up. lie down there because you didn't. Even though JG just <laughs> said on post commentary that the music changed because he's been spotted. The just... actual playing the game, JG didn't realize he was still spotted because he obviously thought he was. You, uh, you, you just did a leaping spear while on fire over yes. a rat. <laughs> and I, I know you're probably just and... trying to, like, yeah, like, you know, heal yourself or, like, ke keep yourself from, you know, like, if you run and I think you dive, I think you might, like, oh, you yeah, might not catch fire. <laughs> and I'm, of course, I'm ducking down. Yeah. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, they even make inane banter in the Soviet Union. Ah. What was really killing me there, though, now that you think about it, Naked Snake is like a metal god, because he was dressed all in black, he comes diving through the air while fire, on fire yeah. into a swarm of bats. <laughs> it's like, Alice Cooper. But, I like that, but it appeared almost as though you were... Like leaping over the rat in order to prevent him from catching fire. Because <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> you're the friend to all animals. <laughs> Except vultures. Solid Gamera. Or naked Gamera. I guess Gamera is naked, isn't he? I guess with the shell off, he'd be naked. Oh. So, yeah, I guess you've heard about Michael Bay, aliens, um, Ninja Turtles, and stuff, and whatever. No? What? Yeah, but Michael Bay is making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And um, I'm, one of the things he was considering playing with... It'll be wretched, I'm sure. I don't... Yeah. I was old enough when uh, that came out that I don't have the same... Nostalgia. Nostalgia. For Transformers. Yeah, Transformers and G.I. Joe were my thing when I was a kid. And I was... I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I wasn't, like, really, really small. Yeah. But, uh, no, I, I'm sure like the Basically, movie... the, the dividing line is, yeah. we didn't get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Toys, <laughs> like, right, right. We used to watch it after school. Yeah, but, you got you got GI Joe toys, Transformer toys. You didn't true. buy the toys for uh, right. TM and T. But um, yeah, no, I, I have no doubt that the movie will be just gut wrenchingly awful. But what was it you were going to tell me about the the rumored? Well, apparently there was a thing where he was saying that April like, O'Neil's going to end up blonde, probably. Well, uh, yeah, it could be. Um, but. Uh, Probably well, there will also be uh, a you know, cat suit or something. <laughs> there'll be a a comedic. There'll be a a, a racist caricature. Um, comedic. Uh, you know, oh, Splinter will be. Extra. Yeah, Splinter will be like a wacky China man. Um, but he was talking about how he was thinking about messing with the origins of them and making them not mutants but aliens. <laughs> Why don't you just make a movie about aliens then? Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's in the freaking name. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to make a new Superman movie. He's not going to be super. <laughs> I'm going to make a new Superman movie. However, he's going to be androgynous. <laughs> I'm going to make a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie in which they're actually 30 something alien, uh, you know, monkeys. <laughs> like Kung Fu. Yeah. And they use uh, Japanese, uh, like, archery. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're horse archers. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's actually, um, so, you know, uh, President Obama recently was on a... Phone like call a, with a his, trip with his master, Asia. the leader of China. Oh, wait, no. 
he was, he was, he was at to he's he was doing a, a tour of Asia, trying to drum up support for the Trans Pacific Partnership. You just wandered right into open fire. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Um, well, we're not even talking about the game. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening I'm, like, right now. <laughs> look, I I like to burn leaves and just watch them go up. Yeah. No. Anyway, he yeah, I guess he bowed too deep again or something like I that. I don't. I, well, I mean, if that happened, I, I actually didn't hear about it, which I would be surprised if I didn't hear about something that he did was potentially a coup. But no, I was just going through. I worked at a news organization, and I was going through wire photos of him on his trip, and there was one of him. Are we playing yeah. soccer with a robot? Huh? Was, that the, was that the trip where he played soccer with a robot? He did play soccer with an with uh with Asimo, the the Honda robot that's like, hey, look, it can dance and kick a soccer ball in a very, like, yes. controlled conditions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melee. <laughs> look out. <laughs> <laughs> this robot's gonna kill you. <laughs> no, it probably would have an easier time of killing him <laughs> than it would, you know, like... I suppose if you dropped it on him from a great height... <laughs> I mocked the Japanese robots because they're so inferior to the robots that I design around the house. Uh, <laughs> yes. All I was getting around to saying was that um, while I was there, he saw a display of force archery, and I was just thinking about force archers. I can um, see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobo actually doing better at the against the Fury than I am at this point. Well, the thing that I think I remember but you, no, noting huge, at, you huge... noted at some point in time was that the thing that I'm doing is when I've got the Mosin Nagan out and I'm using that, I'm not bothering to kneel or take prone position. Yeah, because yeah. Oh, I start, I start taking yeah. tactics from you. but Yeah, because at this range, you're not far enough away from him. That you that really need, you like the, really well, the, need the, the shaking of the hand because you haven't stabilized your position isn't going to make this big a difference. Yeah. But no, this is this is where it really ramps up. It's when he's more than halfway yes, down. Yeah, he starts going nuts. Start. Well, when I say he starts going nuts, I don't actually mean that. I mean, obviously, he just he's starts still using. Still a totally chill dude. Yeah. Okay. Like, let's yeah. Get out here. <laughs> okay. I think the thing is like. I, I looking back now, and I probably was thinking it at the at the time during this fight too. Every time, like I turn and I'm like, okay, he's down there. I'm pulling out the rifle. By the time the rifle is out, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it, buddy. Yeah, I think you're okay. I just let one rip. <laughs> he's like, yeah, <laughs> woo! I'm gonna teabag your burning corpse. Yeah. I probably shouldn't do that if your suit's been ripped, but, uh, And it just kind of walks off. Oh, you know, like, time to go burn some rats! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me slowly make my way over to where the boss to let her know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. So, uh, when we come back, it'll be live commentary, and, uh, I believe it'll be my turn, uh, to try to take on the Fury. Thank you guys very much for watching us. Yeah. Smirk Paradox. It's a sh and uh, yeah, I'm waiting for it to come. Smirk Paradox. Just waiting for it to to yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.